Hey everyone and welcome for a new video. In today's video we will cover the mount speed uh, that you can uh, unlock on the different areas of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, to be able to see the different mount speed you will have to go to the tab travel and select mount speed and you will be able to see all the area uh, that you have on the game. Um, as you can see here, you have sometimes two different stars uh, with the speed. So for example, Mordona, I did the unlock already. And um, the main purpose of these uh, stars is to increase the speed of your mount uh, in the different areas. So you have uh, three different locations where you will have to uh, work on to be able to unlock all the speed of every areas. Um, so for the um, zone uh, of the 2.0 and 3.0, uh, you will have first to uh, complete the main scenario quest, uh, the ultimate weapon, and uh, the quest let me hunt begin, let the hunt begin, sorry. Uh, you will see the link of these two quests in uh, the descriptions below. And after that, when you are done with the quest, you will have to go to your grand company. So for example, for myself, I'm Maelstrom, so I'm going to Limsa Lominsa. And you will have to go to the hunt board. So what you will have to do is to uh, discuss with this guy uh, to get the items that you need. Here we go, you select other, and on the uh, others tab, you will see all the riding map that uh, you have on the list right here. And every uh, riding map will unlock you the second star to have your mount flying uh, faster. Every map costs 250, and you don't need to buy them more than one time because they are not stacking up. Um, so, so yeah, so what I will do is I will buy one of them and now I have all the others to uh, buy. So to get the Allied Sealed, uh, you can see the number of Sealed that you have in the Character tab in Currency, and you will be able to get here in the Sealed and Nuts, and you will see the amount of Seals that you have. So you can get a total of 4,000, and you will have to spend if you are getting more than 4,000. So to get the Allied Sealed, uh, you will have to get the Hunt, um, so you have urns that are posted daily and some that are posted weekly. In average, it's between 8 to 20 seals that you can get for a hunt. Um, and you also have the weekly one that is giving you 100 seals uh, when you are killing it. So the goal is really farming the hunts step by step and as soon as you have 250 uh, seals, you can trade it to the hunt build master uh, in your grand company. So this one is for the first zones. Um, when you want to get uh, the zones, the, the remaining one, you will have to travel to... You will have to travel to the foundations. Uh, we'll go quickly there. I will not, will not go exactly to the, to the exact positions because I will have to work a little bit, uh, but I will show you on the map. So you will have to go Uh, to the Forgotten key, uh, Knights, and as you can see here, you have the Hunt board, and you will have the NPC not too far from there. Uh, so you will be able to do the hunting of these areas as well, to be able to get the additional seals and unlock the rest of it. So that's kind of it for uh, completing the mount speed for the uh, initial areas. Uh, now let's discuss about the Norvrent uh, speed zone. So this one are working a little bit differently. What you will have to do is to do the shared fit, uh, fate. So you can access it in travel, shared fate. It's like next to the mount speed. And you will see the six different area. So as you can see on my screen, you don't see all of them. You see only one of them because you will see it as soon as you are completing a fate in the area. Um, so let's go to Ilmeg for example. And I will quickly show how it's working for Ilmeg, and it will be exactly the same for all the other maps uh, that uh, you have on the Evansward um, areas. So to be able to uh, get uh, the riding map of this area, uh, you will have to complete the fate of the zone. 
so all the fates that you can see here, you need to complete them and you need to get the gold medal. Uh, if you get something else than gold, you will not get the uh, items that you need uh, to uh, unlock the riding maps. Um, and when you have, uh, when you complete the fate, you will see that you will get uh, some gemstones. And the gemstones can be traded into the NPC. So every zone, the sixth zone, have a different NPC uh, where you can trade your gem. And here we go. And you will see that you can access to the gem trader here. And you will have the Ilmeg riding map that costs 70 gemstones. So it's only six uh, fates that you need to complete to be able to get the map. So you need to do that for the six zone uh, that are composed by Evansworth. And you will be able to get the uh, little star um, in the Mount Speed uh, area. So all these stars. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of it for this video. Um, I wanted to make this video because I checked on the web and it was kind of confusing to get all the information together because some people were only mentioning the zone 2 and 3 and not the 4.0 or some people were only mentioning the 4.0. So I wanted to create this video that it's kind of bundling every areas and to explain the differences between 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0 and how to access all the different riding maps. So yeah, I really hope that uh, this video did help you on um, farming and getting this mount speed. Uh, as you saw, I need still to work on mine and I will do it right now. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, feel free to put a little like on the video um, and maybe a little subscribe if you are not already part of the community. Um, and if you have any advice or feedback that you would like to see or content that you would like to see on my, on my, my channel, uh, feel free to put a little comment uh, on the video and I will make sure that I can create uh, a video for you folks. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye.